Hi everybody, Princess Alethea Contis here doing a super secret stealthy fairy tale rant. Mom and dad are asleep so shh, don't wake them up. Today we're going to talk about the Grimm's fairy tale, The Twelve Huntsmen. This is one of those awesome ones that's kind of Shakespearean in its cross-dressing, which of course makes it one of my favorites. Once upon a time, there was a man and the woman he was betrothed to, and they loved each other very much. The man one day found out that his father was very ill, so he went to go see him. This man, of course, was a prince. He went to go see the king, and the king, on his deathbed, wished that his son would marry this queen from a faraway land. The prince, of course, not wanting to disappoint his father, accepted and said that he would. He had given his betrothed a ring and said that one day I will come back for you. He didn't, which is very sad. The betrothed girl also was very sad to find out that this man had now left her for this woman that he didn't even know. This is terrible. She was so sad that she looked like she was going to die. Her father went to her and said, I will give you whatever you want. Please just tell me what do you wish and I will give it to you. Just please don't die. She said, I would like 11 women who look just like me in size and stature and form. Okay, that's a weird request, but sure, we'll go with it. He sent his men far and wide to find 11 women that looked essentially like his daughter. She took all these women and herself and dressed them up like huntsmen. They all went to the land of the prince. They went to work for the prince. The prince thought they were all men. The prince had a lion, and the lion can see straight through any lie. The lion said to the prince, those aren't men, those are women. The prince said, no, they're not. And the lion said, yes, they are. And here's how you can tell. If you scatter a room with peas, then the women will trip and fall and try to scatter the peas everywhere because they're, I don't know, silly and can't walk straight. I I'm not sure why women scatter peas everywhere, but men apparently just clomp right over the peas and smush them. Word got back to the betrothed girl and her huntsman through a servant who was very dedicated to the girl. She told all of her huntsmen to walk soundly across the peas, and the next day when they encountered a room full of peas, that's exactly what they did. The prince looked at the lion and said, you're an idiot. These are men, and walked away. The lion said, no, no, no. They are not. They are women. And here's how you tell. Take them into a room full of spinning wheels and the women will ooh and ah and gush over the spinning wheels and men won't give them a second glance. The prince said, fine. And the servant went to the head huntsman and told them exactly what was going to happen. The betrothed told her huntsman not to give the spinning wheels a second look and they didn't. The prince turned to the lion and said, you are fired. Finally, it was time for the prince to wed the woman that his father wanted him to marry on his deathbed. As soon as she found this out, the betrothed head of the huntsman fainted as if dead. The man, now, you know, really loyal to all these huntsmen, freaked out because his head huntsman is now lying on the floor. He goes to help him and in doing so takes off his glove and finds the ring that he had given his betrothed. This time when he looks at her face, he recognizes her and he says, oh my goodness, it is you, and I have loved you my whole life, and I still love you, and I will marry you. I don't want this other woman. So the king sent a message to the other bride, telling her to return to her own kingdom, for he already had a wife, and whoever finds his old key does not need a new one. So she was kind of like an old shoe. But he didn't need a new one. He enjoyed his old shoes. So they all lived happily ever after. And the lion got his job back. The end. I kind of like the lion. I'm glad he got his job back. As crazy as all of that other romantic insanity went, the lion was a good guy. Thank you all for joining me again for another of my fairy tale rants. I hope you will join me next week. Have a great time. Love you guys.